What's up, Big Ben two four nine three here back on YouTube to talk about to talk about John Lackey, the bust, the guy who's not pitching well at all this year. You people say he'd be an ace, bullshit. Let's compare his stats this year to last year. Okay, let's get started. This year, Ray a four point sixty five with a nine and five win loss record, but see. Their record is 9-9 in those games. We should have more wins. Last year, he was 11-8 with a 3.8 ERA. This year, that 4.65 ERA is in 19 starts. Last year, that 3.8 ERA was in 27 starts. This year, he has 120 pitches, innings pitched. Last year, 176. This year, 142 hits compared to 170. Compared to 177 from last year, but see, this is 19 start, 19 starts. That was 27 starts. Big difference. This year, in 19 starts, he has 62 earned runs, and last year, in 27 starts, he had 75. That's a that's a big no-no right there. That's bad. This year, let's talk about walks because this 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 looked at me right away. This year, in 19 starts, 48 walks. Last year, in 27 starts, 47. Bingo. That's not good. He's walking too many guys. Last year in 27 starts, 139 strikeouts. This year in 19 starts, not even 100. It's 71. Uh, problem. Okay. Now, and look at this. This one's, this one's bad. This one's bad. This year in 19 starts, a 296 batting average against. Last year in 27 starts, a 263. That's, that's an alarm right there, too. Uh, the whip this year 158 compared to 127, and see it's it, he's just not the same guy. I don't understand what's wrong with this guy. He's not an ace. I don't see why people thought he was an ace. I mean, look at his stuff. His best year right was in 2007 301. That was ace numbers, but he's just he's declining. He's not. Look, his ERA has increased in the, since that year. Uh, 2008, he had a 3.75 ERA. 2009, he had 3.83 ERA, and this year is 4.65. I mean, come on. I mean, it should be a lot better than this. You know what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. Um, this guy. I mean, if we had better pitching, because if you do know, the Red Sox lead the league and run scored, even more than the Yankees, believe it or not. It's just this isn't good. I mean, I don't understand what's going on here. You know. Um, Think, and think about this, you know. Would I trust if Lackey has pitched a playoff game or can you get in the playoffs? Do you think I trust him? Hell no. I don't trust this guy worth shit. This guy is shit this year. This guy's a bust. We spent eighty over eighty-two million dollars on him. I can't believe I just I wish we never did that because it is ridiculous to spend that much money on a guy who's gonna give you a four point six ERA and is as good as a number five starter. You don't pay eighty two million dollars to a number five starter. You just don't do it. You know what I'm saying, guys? You know the war words are coming out of my mouth. Alright, now let's talk about the guy who's starting this Friday for the Boston Red Sox. A guy who's underperformed this year, and his name is Josh Beckett. Josh Beckett had two rehab starts. In his last rehab start, he gave up Five hits, three earned runs, and five innings pitched with, I believe, three strikeouts. I don't know how many walks at the moment, but what I can tell you is this. Beckett should not. Um, I don't trust him Beckett right now. I really don't trust Beckett at this point. I mean, his fastball is working, yes. His fastball is good at this point. But... But, 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 but. His breaking pitches are flat and they're high. It, I've, I've seen a couple, of, I've seen his two uh, rehab starts. His breaking pitches are not there yet. His fastball is there, okay? But his breaking pitches are not there. And there's one thing I hate is when a manager brings him up because I have to. You bring him up when he's ready. You don't bring him up because you need him that day. You bring him up when he's ready. Okay, because... If he has a bad start on this Friday, 
What's that going to do with confidence? I mean, confidence is everything to a pitcher. I believe that. If you don't have good, if you have good stuff and no confidence, you turn you turn like pitchers like Charlie Morton and the Pittsburgh Pirates, god awful. You see, I'm predicting that he's not going to have a good start on Friday. I love my team and we'll just worry as hell about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm predicting an average start at best. I'm going to say five innings pitched and three earned runs. It's going to be an eh, or three or four in runs. It's going to be an eh game, probably about three or four strikeouts. Kind of, It's probably going to be similar to his last AAA start, which that, that's not satisfying to me. I want ace-level Josh Beckett, the guy we've seen a couple years ago, the guy who was just throwing by guy. That's what I want to see. But are we going to see that? No, not at this time. I hope we do, but I don't think so. Um, then we look at the other guy who's on a in, in this rotation, Dice K. I mean, think about it. If, if Dice K, Lackey, and Beckett pitch their potential, or even pitch halfway their potential, this team will be at least five games up in the American League East, and not to even be worried about the wild card at all. We'd be winning this division because we're leading run scored. And Dice K is starting, um, tonight. Well, I'm, I am talking at 3 o'clock in the morning. So tonight, Monday night, Monday night, 10 o'clock at Oakland against Ben Sheets. Uh, ben Sheets, I heard he's going to get traded. I I, I think he's going to trade the Mets. Um, not just thing on that. Okay. Uh, Dice K tomorrow, um, I'm hoping for a good start. I'm hoping that the second half, the pitchers can do a lot better. Because we just lost 3 out of 4 to uh, Texas. And I was very upset today's game, losing 4 to 2 against the Rangers. Um, uh, we, need to, we need to win. Pitching needs to get better. We need, our offense kind of stunk in that in this series. Um, hell, I was watching the Pirates games, and they were better than the Rangers games were. <laughs> Look at that. Um, they need to get better. They need to get healthy. They need to perform better. This is the Boston Red Sox. Not the Toronto Blue Jays. Not teams that don't want to perform. This is the class organization, the Boston Red Sox. We are better than the Rays and the Yankees when healthy. And when we pitch our potential. Anyway, I think that's it. Um, we're six and a half back in the division and three and a half back in the wild card. Not happy about that, but it is what it is. As always, go Red Sox. Tell me what you think. I will gotta go. See you later. Peace. Bye bye.